it's a, it's a really exciting opportunity for Walker Logistics. I mean, Atomy is such a well-renowned brand, brand sort of globally. So, you know, it's, it's a really exciting opportunity for us. You know, we're all about relationship building, getting to know our customers, you know, helping them with their supply chain and, and grow their business. So, you know, that they can focus on, on their sales and, and growing their business and expanding into different territories and, and leaving the logistics and the fulfillment to us. You know, we'd like to think that, that we're the experts in that side of things. So, yeah, we can't wait to get started and help Atomy grow and expand internationally. That's so fantastic to hear that Charlie and from our perspective when we were choosing a logistics partner to help us fulfill into UK and Europe it was really important that we could choose a family based family orientated company much like yourselves um, who share the same values as us and we very much look forward to a close partnership moving forwards as we begin our journey into UK Europe and, and, and beyond so um, I speak on behalf of myself and all of our Atomy members when I say that uh, we really cannot wait to work with you guys. Yeah, excellent. You know, values are something that, that's really important to us as a business as well. I mean, this business, Walker Logistics, was started by my father in, in the late 1970s. And, you know, as a family, we've grown the business organically ever since. And we're all about exactly that, building relationships, growing relationships. You know, people do business with people at the end of the day. So, you know, we see ourselves as an extension of your business. You know, we've got your product so you know that's really important to you guys so yeah we can't wait to get started and help you guys expand into the UK and further afield. Well, here at Walker Logistics, we're looking for two things, really. We're looking at, one, the customer experience when they receive the product, and, and two, making sure that we, we pack it in a robust and safe way that, so that it survives its journey and its transit, really. So, you know, given the importance uh, of e-commerce orders and online sales, we've got to make sure that we recreate that customer experience as if the customer was going into a shop and looking at a product and purchasing it. We've got to recreate that. So, so when the parcel arrives at a consumer's door, they've got that magical unboxing experience. But of course, we also have to make sure that the products have survived the journey and the transit through, through the hub with the courier, etc. So we will look carefully at which, which couriers we partner with. It could be anything from Royal Mail to D DPD to Hermes, we'll look at the type of products the customer is selling and you know and also the sort of infill that you know we'd put in the box to, to ensure that the uh, the product is safe and arrives in the correct manner really. So it's, it's kind of a, a two-part thing really, the sort of the safety and, and the robust nature of the transit but also that, that customer experience. I think it's so reassuring to hear that um, our partner puts so much detail and thought into uh, the, the experience that is created for the end consumer being Atomy with such a notoriously low returns rate in our industry, actually it, this was one of the key deciding factors, um, the kind of quality and care that is put into the fulfilment of our products to ensure that the Atomy members get the Atomy product in the exact condition that it is intended to be received in. Um, so that's very, very reassuring to hear. Oh, well, that, that's really good to hear. I mean, we work with a number of local packaging providers and, you know, we can provide anything from sort of plain cardboard boxes and poly bags right through to, you know, handmade bespoke branded boxes with tissue papers, stickers, handwritten gift notes, anything that the customer requires really. But as you say, it's, it's got to survive that journey. You can have the, the best product in the world, but if it arrives damaged, that's no good. So that's of the utmost importance to us. Yeah, absolutely we have. Our core focus here at Walk Logistics is, is adding value to us our customer supply chain. So, you know, whilst we don't particularly focus in, in, in one particular sector or customer or, or indeed product type, we have got a particular following in what I'd call the cosmetics and personal care industry. So probably working with at least a dozen um, cosmetics customers, all selling slightly different products, you know, to, to slightly different customers, you know, both trade and, and e-commerce and online. So, you know, I say we don't, we don't specialize necessarily, but we have picked up a, a particular following in that sector. And um, yeah, I'd like to think that we've got a, a lot of knowledge in that area now and we would consider ourselves one of the leaders in that arena. I'd say that you know our sector is unique as is every single sector in terms of the little 
um, intricacies required for product delivery when you look at certain supplements um, that need to be kept in certain uh, environmental conditions for example so being able to work with a partner that has already not only had a little bit of experience but is well established in that sector uh, it's very reassuring for us indeed. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're on top of all those requirements, as you say, for right from the, the storage of the products and, you know, and the particular requirements around that through to, you know, the bespoke packaging and, and how those orders and deliveries need to look through to, you know, any particular complications w with the actual delivery and, you know, things that you might adhere to. So, yeah, absolutely. We're, um, we're well placed to look after those requirements for you and look forward to doing so. So yeah, so the, the main body that we're, um, we're regulated by is the UKWA, which is the United Kingdom Warehousing Association. And that's sort of the general body, um, you know, that logistics and, and haulage companies would be a member of. Um, uh, so that's that's the main the main sort of uh, accreditation we have. But then it's it's very much customer specific and customer driven. After that, so for example, we have some ambient food and beverage customers, which meant that the warehouse needs to be uh, organically certified by the Soil Association, you know, which it is. And you know, we have various other requirements for cosmetics customers, um, and some for, that are carrying electronics um, goods. And you know, from a dangerous goods perspective, we adhere to all of those regulations as well. So it's it's very much customer driven and. And customer focus really so I mean we hold a, a range of different accreditations and those are all managed in-house by our various different quality managers make sure that we're hitting those regulations and we're regularly inspected to make sure that we're adhering to all of the, uh, the requirements. And it's quite exciting actually uh, for us as, as a business but yeah we've got partnerships and facilities in, in Holland and Germany um, and those arrangements that we put in place um, last year um, probably initially for obvious reasons uh, as a Brexit contingency there was a lot of uncertainty in the industry around Brexit whether there was going to be a deal whether there wasn't going to be a deal so initially that's something that we put in place as a contingency for our customers but you know also from a from a sales and business perspective you know our customers are selling products not just in the UK to to mainland Europe and further afield and they're constantly challenging us on costs and delivery times so we looked at it a little bit from, from that perspective as well, so it's, it's an exciting expansion for the business really. As I say, got a, a couple of partners in Holland uh, and one in Germany and got at least a dozen or so customers w with stock in those locations already fulfilling from Holland and Germany and it's, it's working really well and you know obviously that's, that's something I'm sure that Atomy will, will be looking to focus on going forward and we look forward to being able to help you with that as well. Yes, yeah, certainly one of the key um, focuses of Atomy UK is to be the gateway to Europe and to be the spring board to Europe so it was really crucial for us to partner with a company that was able to help us fulfill our European expansion plans and obviously yourselves with your European warehouses that really just ticked all of the boxes for us uh, we're super excited to be able to fulfill not just the UK not just you know all of the British Isles that make up this country but also the main European uh, landmass as well and to be able to do that with you guys moving forwards is just wonderful and I hope and know actually that the transition and this process will be as smooth as it could possibly be in these uncertain times. Yeah absolutely it is uncertain times you say but it's really exciting for you as a business as well you know and for us I mean it opens up so many opportunities not just for our existing customers to grow their sales um, you know into mainland Europe and further afield but you know from us as a business perspective as well to enter new territories and and you know grow the business from a sales perspective as well but yeah we very much look forward to working with you on, on your expansion into Europe. At the moment there's, there's as you would imagine you know a lot of work going on behind the scenes you know a lot of that is in the physical setup of the product so you know we'll look at the, the number of SKUs a customer has got the type of the product the size of the cartons etc we'll, we'll allocate an area of where we're going to store the product you know that might be stored on pallets in pick faces if it's predominantly e-commerce it will probably be in on shelving and in sort of totes and, and fast pick bay areas but you know a lot of the work goes on behind the scenes as well it's all the system integrations and and the technical side of it so 
So, you know, our IT guys talking to your IT team and, and making sure that that's all set up and, and tested in a separate environment before we go live. So, yeah, part of that sort of physical, you know, allocating the account manager, you know, them getting to know you guys and the physical product set up. But a lot of that's taking place in, in the background with the system as well, just, just linking everything up. So, yeah, we're, we're excited. There's uh, lots of work going on and we can't wait to, to go live with Atomy. It's been an absolute delight talking to you today, Charlie, and um, thank you for having us. And I speak on behalf of all of our members who are notoriously keen and eager to get their hands on ASME products in Europe and UK. So I'm pretty sure you guys have been busy preparing just as much as we have, and uh, I, I hope you're ready. And uh, you know, when launch happens, uh, we'll be raring to go. Yeah, absolutely. We can't wait to get started. As you say, there's lots of hard work going on in the background. And um, yeah, we're definitely going to be ready. And um, yeah, we can't wait to get started. So great to see you again and, and look forward to, to get it going. Good. 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 Good.